Delighted to say we're joined here at McLean's TV and sporting his uh, McLean Bookmakers t-shirt is uh, one of our most up-and-coming boxers, James Fryer. James, you're a professional, you've had 11 fights, 11 wins, but for, before we talk about that, this is a get-to-know-you session with people here and our viewers. Tell us about your amateur career. My amateur career uh, started when I was 9, 10 years of age. Uh, started, started relatively young, went in titles and progressed through the schoolboys, the cadets and senior level, uh, box for Ireland numerous occasions in different multi-nation tournaments. Um, yeah, I won seven All Ireland titles and uh, three, two senior elite titles, Ulster titles. So didn't do too bad. So Coming then, out of the Immaculata Club too, which is a great tradition and history of the sport here. Yeah, from the Immaculata is recognised as one of the most popular, if not one of the most best clubs in Ireland. In 2005, 2006, I think we won club of the year out of the whole Ireland nation, so we didn't do too bad that year either. Now, you go to the professional scene, and like everybody else, you need a break. Uh, I read there in some of your biogs that it was a wee bit slow at the start, but you now believe that your career is beginning to gather important momentum. Yeah, at the start of the career, uh, I was getting one, maybe two fights within the two years I was started with, so... For to be a novice pro, I was just a little bit too slow of a start, but now that I'm with Mark Dunlap, I actually see myself and my career starting to skyrocket. So do so things are up and coming and very exciting looking. Mark, you were in Estonia recently there where you got to record another one as well too, so even from that point of view it shows you that things are branching out. It's not just the odd wee fight that Mark's getting yeah. for you. You're clearly on the way up. I, th I think this year alone I've had five, six fights. Well, at the start of career I had one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know I mean? So... Things are really picking up for me. Uh, I'm now 10 in Britain, so things next year will be very exciting. I suppose the headlines here in Northern Ireland, indeed Ireland, has been with Brian McGuigan, the likes of Frampton and people like that too, you know, but uh, you're basically knocking on the door and you're hoping for this break as well too. You're looking to become a household name, which if you continue the way you're going, you're bound to be because there's such a rich tradition and following here in yeah. this country for boxing. Yeah, I uh, got asked about the boxing before from a, a reporter and I says boxing's been, a pelf has been starved from boxing for years but now Mark is getting the shows more popular, he's getting me and other stable mates more fights, people are now asking questions and yeah, we're knocking on the door and we don't want to be living in the shadows of McGuigan's and Frams, we want to be making household names for ourselves so yeah, next year I think me and the stable mates will be having big years and we'll be going for them. James, for anybody who's looking in here and, you know, they look at boxing and stuff like that and all they see is maybe the six, eight, ten rounds, whatever it is they got, uh, for you to get where you are at this particular stage, some effort. Yeah, like, don't worry, a lot of people say uh, some effort from the boxers and all that is, but it's also some effort from your coaches and your managers too. Like, they're the, you know, a fight who's put in front of you, so it's up to them to make sure they're getting you the right fights at the right times. So, as much as it is my effort too, it's partly their effort also. So now, you won well in Estonia, which is great, and uh, you get a bit of publicity, obviously, there, particularly with the newsletter and young Nicky Fullerton giving you yes. a lot of good PR. And uh, 2016, and we're going to see you fighting in Belfast, which is what people want to see. Well, as far as I'm aware, the next fight is on the 6th of February. Um, I think from what happened here, it's going to be a big bill in the Europa, so I'm looking forward to that. I think Mark is talking to me next year about maybe a Bryce Taylor Eliminator. So... Uh, that should be a fantastic fight. I'm really looking forward to that one, whoever the opponent is. It's one that's got my interest. Whenever you mention you know, Irish titles, British titles, it means that you're very, very close to actually making the big breakthrough. Yeah. You say you'll be looking forward to the fight. Who would, who's the likely, uh, the likely opponent, let's say, in a thing like that? Or yeah. is it two or three? Everyone's asked me who do you think the likely opponent is, but I don't keep up to date with the fighters. Now, as I only know a handful of super featherweights or whoever has to know a wee handful. But... Uh, to me, I don't get involved in the politics of boxing, I leave it in the hands of Mark. I just focus on my own training, whoever's across the ring at the night, that's them. And as long as I'm happy enough for my training, my <laughs> You preparation. just get in the ring and see, yeah, uh, uh, two legs, legs two arms, yeah. two gloves, one ahead, exactly. let's, uh, yes, yeah, yes, let's take them. in the ring. Uh, if I'm happy enough for my preparation, my fight, and my sparring, I know I'll be victorious. So I'm happy enough just to let Mark deal with the opponents. And interesting too, you talk about, you know, uh, a bill in the Europa. Like, you know, there, there's such a... Uh, you know, such a strong support here for the sport. You know, if you do a boxing like if you, if you do a boxing match like that in Europe, it'd be a sellout. Exactly. Yeah. Like again, like Frampton 
has like uh, revived the boxing spirit in Belfast. Like it was it was huge already, but Frampton just got everyone a wee bit more excited. So now that Mark's running regular shows, uh, the people are just more or less coming just for the atmosphere of the try and relive it again, you know. So we're all getting all our friends and families, but now we're starting to see more people are coming more interested because we're out there that much. They're actually starting to put a wee bit of faith in us. So it's great to see and may it continue. So James, 2016, more fights and on the immediate horizon at some stage in 2016, hopefully a British title. Yeah, touch wood, I'd love to see it and may it come true.